Well, I have always been interested in cars. Um, even as a little child, uh, the first things I, I think the second word I learned when I was a little a little child was car. It was first mom, then car, then dad. This was the order I learned my first words, and even back then, obviously not not as a little child, not as a toddler, but later on I could quite easily identify all the makes, all the different car makes, and uh, yeah, many people were fascinated by that when I was little, and um, yeah, so I've always been interested in cars. My father had a BMW 525i, 1991, um, and I can still, even now, I, I could always uh, recognize and identify a BMW straight six uh, gasoline petrol engine. Um, they, they sound exactly the same. You know, my, this, 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 I really think BMW deliberately make the sound like they did 20, 30 years ago. Uh, it was a couple of months ago, last year, I don't know, I was walking on the pavement and uh, I heard this sound and I thought, wow, this sounds like my, my father's 5 Series from back then. Then I turned around, it was a 135i 1 Series brand new with a straight six uh, get a petrol engine and th they still sound exactly the same. This is uh, amazing. And um, I can still remember the first time I saw Top Gear on television. And this was how it went down. I think it was 2006 or seven. I, uh, I watched BBC World on cable and uh, back then they, on weekends or something, when there was the news was were slow, uh, they always uh, showed some episodes of Top Gear on BBC World. It wasn't. It was not even called BBC World News back then. It was just BBC World, and their their slogan was uh, "Putting News First. So I can still remember that. And I always like their news uh, intro, you know, their introduction to the news, uh, the, the sound and how they how they did the graphics and stuff like that. Very, very cool. And I remember the first bit was when they took this little Mini Cooper, put it on a ski ramp and put rockets in the back and shot the Mini over the ski ramp. <laughs> and... Yeah, I was immediately hooked, and I always watched Top Gear since then. I was quite, was quite sad when I uh, heard that they were splitting up from BBC, and went somewhere else. But you know, kind of funny. Or it's still, I still enjoy watching them. I, I the the banter and 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 the, uh, the, the 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 chemistry between those three. There's still the same, so it's still a lot of fun to watch it. But yeah, I don't buy streaming. This is the only downside. Um, I, I I don't think that for one show, I don't think it, it, it's reasonable to buy a streaming uh, service uh, subscription just for one show. So, yeah, I always wait for some free clips on YouTube and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it's I, I think it's good that they're still together doing their the car shows, no matter what it's called. Um, yeah. So, uh, keep up the good work.